Alright, welcome ladies and gentlemen to another edition of AEW Tonight is AEW Dynamite. This is the last Dynamite before the pay-per-view and I forgot to actually check the pay-per-view name. It, it's something. It is not It is not an actual AEW pay-per-view. I, I know that much. And as I said last time on on AEW Dark, it was Nick Jackson and Buddy Matthews for, and against Cash Wheeler. Uh, that was a triple threat, not like it's a handicap match. And so we go for another handicap match. Buddy Matthews picked up the victory. Can Brody King do the same to gain the momentum to carry them into the finals of the AEW Tag Team Tournament that comes to an end this Sunday when all these three teams come together. But only one can be crowned AEW Tag Team Champion. I had, I had a pretty good line and then I, I was trying to think of how to finish it and so it, I took a pause. Ay ay. When I'm on, I'm on. When I'm off, I'm off. Now this show doesn't have anything really that exciting, I don't think, but uh, sanity. What the fuck is that? Oh, I bet it's Brody King. Making his way to the ring. You know what it is? Los I probably Angeles, edited California. all the I edited the move set, I edited the the attire, but I never probably, you know, freaking edited I never edited the entrances. Hi, oh, yeah, yeah. Well, there we go, this tr triple threat matchup. Brody King, Matt Jackson. And Dex Harwood. So he's three fair here tonight. And Brody King going right after Dex. Oh man, Brody just so destructive is Brody. He's got speed, he's got power, size. He's one of the most dangerous of wrestlers here at AEW. You don't want to face this man. But sometimes you just gotta do what you gotta do and if Matt Jackson and Dex Harwood are smart, they may have to double team on this man because he is just laying waste to everyone in this matchup right now. Matt Jackson has the upper hand momentarily over Brody King and actually had enough power to throw Brody out of the ring there. Surprising strength from Matt Jackson there. That will allow Matt Jackson and Dex Harwood to momentarily be able to fight only each other in this matchup, which is definitely something they want to do. But when they get caught in moments like this where Brody King is about to enter the ring, well, eventually he will. I think Brody's just laying in wait to let these guys just destroy each other. A smart strategy there. Brody just laying in wait. Uh-oh. And when he picks his boom, it's belly to belly. And I think it was gonna do the same thing to Matt Jackson. Matt able to utilize some of his speed. Inverted Frankensteiner. Brody gets dropped on the crown of his head there. And Matt now sends Brody into the corner. It's a Gurry there. Matt definitely, he's the fastest one in this matchup here. Matt's got a little bit more strength than his brother Nick though. It's a different type of matchup than it was on Dark. Brody with an STO there, take it down, Dax Harwood. I'd have to say if I can give an early prediction of this matchup, I think I might have to go with Brody King right now. I mean, he's been laying waste to everyone when he gets in the ring. Dax Harwood nailed that neck breaker and Brody rolls to the outside of the floor. Matt nailed the neck breaker of his own. And now Dax and Matt just trading positions. Matt picking up Dax, but Dax just nails the jawbreaker. Go for the leg, kicks the leg. Matt Jackson does it, standing moonsault. Brody King though finds himself, Lariat! One, two, count on two there, and again, Brody is the man that you want to watch out for. I'm telling you, Dax and Matt may have to just start teaming up here to, to take down Brody King. Brody rolls. To the ring and protects Harwood. Five is carry position. But Matt slides through the back door. Brody King now. Uh oh. Into the sleeper hold. 
We've seen Brody put out Darby Allen multiple times with a sleeper hold. Matt Jackson able to escape that sleeper. Oh my God, what a pump kick there from Brody. Oh, that may do it. Matt Jackson almost out there, two and a half. Brody just continuing the punishment in this matchup. I don't understand this. Why are why is Dax going after Matt? Are they so stuck? Matt Dax takes out the knee. Is Dax and Matt so stubborn that they don't even want to think about teaming up with each other? Does their hatred go that far back that they don't even think about what the smart strategy in a matchup like this would be? Dax thinking about a Liger bomb. That is great control and great strength by Dax to be able to deliver a, a Liger bomb to Brody King. And he turns it around. He's got the legs locked there. But Matt Jackson quickly breaking up the submission there. Uh-oh. Matt thinking about a power bomb. He got it. Matt. I think it was thinking about going top rope there, but Brody looking for a chop spear, but Brody nails it with an L with a knee strike. One. Matt Jackson gets his shoulder up at the count of one. All right, sorry, just making sure I'm recording. Sometimes again, if this is like your first time joining us, uh, what I like to do is like sometimes I, I get a little too into the match and I want to make sure that I'm actually recording. Now Matt Jackson, nice drag there. Oh, wait a sec. Matt Jackson, he's got him with a forward roll. Fireman's carry rolling. Spear! Nice spear there from Matt Jackson. Matt Jackson like a locomotive coming in with a lot of steam. Oh, but Brody just slaps the face of Matt. I know some people might be thinking, man, a slap to the face, that's not going to do a lot of damage. Well, man, you know, just, you know, slapping his paw at you like that, like Brody did. Woof! That's just going to disorient you. Into the cover one. Matt gets out in the count of one. And now again, it is down to Dex Harwood and Matt Jackson in this ring. The perfect opportunity. Wait a sec, Dex. Kick to the stomach. Looks for the... Oh, no. Buckle bomb into the corner. And that's not good. Remember Matt Jackson's lower back dealing with that injury for years upon years. It's always a weak point that Matt, it's always a weak spot that Matt Jackson has it. Now, Dax went for the pin. Brody broke it up. Brody went for the pin and Dax broke it up. Well, wait a sec. What is Brody looking for here? Not a pile driver! Oh my god! Goes for the cover. That may do it! One, two, no, no, not even two, excuse me. One and a half there. Dax Stephens is back up there, absorbs the blow from the kick. Oh man, full force on that strike from, from Brody King since Dax, Dax turns his attention to, Dax turns his attention to Matt Jackson. These guys are just intent on destroying each other. You see Matt Jackson says, I don't, I don't need to be in this. Oh, but now you do, Matt, now you do. That checks it. Oh, pile driver of his own. Brody, did you see that? Brody just immediately started moving. He immediately started creating some movement. Brody King, how do you slow this guy down? This big monster. Matt Jackson utilizing his momentum for that standing slice front. Matt Jackson gonna go top rope. Looking for something big. That's what you might have to do to take out Brody King. Ste moonsault. I almost said standing moonsault and I apologize for that one. Dax Harwood back in the ring. Oh, straight punch. But again, they're not working together. Our Dax and Matt, but Brody rolls to the outside of the floor. So a perfect opportunity for Matt Jackson or Dax Harwood to pick up this victory right now. Oh, Matt Jackson with a lariat. And comes through with a super kick right to Dax's face. And the cover. One, two. Dax gets out of the count of two and then 
Matt Jackson in the corner, or it was. Probably looking to create some distance just in case Dax Howard was going to do something just like that. Dax has got the arms and the legs. Going for the cover, but Brody King already inside the ring to break up that cover. Oh wait! Dax, I think, was looking for the cutter. Oh, I got it! The cutter, and quickly pushes Brody King back down into the mat. Two and a half there. Oh, a super kick came out of nowhere. Matt Jackson, the super kick party has come alive. And now Matt Jackson looking to take advantage after the cutter and the super kick. Well, Brody's still kicking out at two and a half there. Matt Jackson's gonna have to nail something big on Brody King of his own. If he has any intentions of winning this matchup, Brody into the cover. One, two. Not sure who, who you know, broke it up, whether Matt Jackson got out of it himself or Dax Harwood broke it up. Either way, this match is continuing. Dax has got the legs locked. He's got the legs locked in the submission hold. Oh, it's locked in deep. And Brody, Brody taps out. And you can't blame Brody King. He did not want to risk getting any a further. He did not want to risk any injury heading into this Sunday. Here is your winner, Scott. But according Wilson. to the momentum here, it could either go to FTR or the House of Black this Sunday. The Bucks coming in with no wins. Ooh, you know what we, what we could do. We could do no, no, no. We'll get. We should keep the, t the tag team separate. I was gonna think about what if we did House of Black versus FTR, and then we did the Bucks versus FTR, and then I'm like, you know what? No, let's keep them separate. We want to keep them separate, to you know, because that's how it should be promoted. But anyways, we go to our next matchup. It is Tony Storm versus Bianca Belair. Need a water break. I was gonna, I was gonna eat some. I was gonna take a bite of some cracker, but I don't want for, to you guys, for you guys to hear the muffled sound of, of me chewing on a on a saltine cracker. I think that would be uh, unprofessional, annoying, and maybe even slightly disgusting because you would hear every single bite of that. Because you know, with the. Uh, with, that, with me having to take water breaks, I, I feel like you guys understand that. But eating, that can wait. There we go. The last matchup that Tony Storm... Well, I shouldn't say the last matchup Tony Storm will have before this Sunday. Because we never know. We still have uh, Rampage, Ring of Honor, and being the elite. So... There we go. A great challenge for Tony Storm tonight. Bianca Belair and Tony Storm one-on-one -on -one competition here tonight. And you can bet your bottom dollar that Carmella is watching this in the back. Bianca was going for a lariat. Tony Storm with a headlock there. And now she traps the arm of Bianca Belair. Tony Storm looking to wrestle Bianca down to the mat, and she does. Tony allows Bianca to get to her feet there. Both women just staring down at each other, trading shots. Tony Storm with a forearm, but oh man, big time shoulder tackle. Bianca's got the strength advantage over Tony Storm. I don't, I don't know what happened there. Tony Storm was looking for some type of move, but I think she underestimated the distance of how close Bianca Belair was there, so there was no way that she was making that. Oh, hip toss, neck breaker. Uh, what's Tony Storm's finisher? Air Raid Crash, Neck Breaker, um, and the Pile Driver, yes. Um, but I guess I might have to, I'll probably have to change out the... But that doesn't make sense. You know what I hate about, uh, Tony Storm's new finisher? It's like the Jumping DDT. I think that finisher kind of stinks, because she already does the Tornado DDT. Like, for me personally... I think that if your finisher is going to be a DDT, you don't use any other formations of a DDT. It, it kind of ruins the, uh, I want to say the illusion, but it kind of ruins it, in my opinion. So I was thinking about changing the, the jumping DDT. Um, 
I was thinking about, you know, doing giving Tony Storm the jumping DDT for a finisher, but honestly, she already was just trying to do the, tor the tornado DDT, so fuck it. Anyways, let's, let's get back to regular commentary. I actually just absolutely love how, again, that I've updated the logos here and that it actually says TBS in the bottom screen. Literally, it makes you feel like you're actually watching the AEW Dynamite. Although, of course, Bianca Belair is not on AEW. But hey, why not? This is, this is AEW Universe mode. Here to have fun, right? I should get back to work. This is my work. Bianca Belair inside the ring. Tony Storm. Iron's carry position and drops Bianca down throat first across the well great athleticism by the EST Bianca Belair showing off her fastest oh shotgun knee strike from Tony and now sizing up Bianca Belair looking for storm zero perhaps but Bianca countered out of it oh man Two-handed chop there. Wait a sec. Bianca looking for the KOD. Tony Storm. She may be out of it. She was. She's out. One, two. Ah, oh, two and a half there. Bianca upset. She literally thought that was the end there. I mean, imagine getting the victory over the number one contender for the women's world champion. What a hell of a victory that is for you. Tony Storm now placing Bianca in the corner. Bianca counters out of it. Punch right to the face. Goes for another one, but Tony counters out. Wait a sec, Tony Storm with the... Oh, man. That was like an inverted DDT there. One. Oh, Bianca kicks out of one there. Kick to the back right there. Tony Storm having to get a little bit more aggressive now over Bianca Belair. Bianca is not holding anything back here. Wait a minute. She's got the arms locked. Oh, just tossing Tony Storm down on the mat. And now Tony. Bianca returns with an elbow strike. Uh oh, forearm on a second one. And Bianca Pele kick by Bianca Belair. And wait a sec, Bianca's in the corner. Looking for something big with the spear. No, Tony Storm counters. Great counter there from Storm. Bianca going for the floor, but Tony Storm. Throw oh, the shotgun, knee strike. She got her again, and great ring awareness there by Tony Storm to pull Bianca Belair away from the ropes. And I'm surprised too, Tony. That did not get at least a two count. It was just a one. That's shocking as all hell. Tony Storm looking for Storm Zero. Dropping Bianca straight on the crown of her head. And that may do it. One, two, two and a half this time. Tony got out of the KOD and now Bianca gets out of the Storm Zero. Tony Storm now picks Bianca up to her feet. A lariat, a second lariat, and comes in with a fire with the calf kick. Bianca Bella rolls to the ring apron there. She might be putting herself in a bad position, or is she baiting in Tony Storm? She did. Tony dazed and confused right now, but great escape. Tony goes down to the leg. An aggressive chop block there, but again, you've got to get aggressive in this moment of the matchup. Tony Storm, elbow drop to the spine. And now, calling for Bianca to get to her feet one more time. Looking for Storm, zero for a second time. And the braid just going right over the belly of Tony. Oh, how much does that have to suck for Bianca? To be so close to the ropes there, but you can't make the you can't stretch your arm farther. But Tony Storm picks up the victory, heading into her pay-per-view matchup this Sunday with Carmella. Carmella gonna take a look at Tony Storm for herself. But where is she? 
No, wait a second. No, a Lariat. Carmella. Oh, man, what a cheap, cheap attack there from Carmella. Why is Tony Storm not ranked? She has nothing. Why does Tony Storm have allies with Elias? That's weird. I think that's weird. Uh, what's the next match? Shinsuke and Hook. As entertaining as a match as that is, we already saw that last week. Well, let's see. What other match can we skip? Yeah, I think this is the one that I want to skip. Hook picks up the win over Nakamura this time. I uh, let's see. We go. Ooh, this is interesting. A husband and wife combination. Penelope has her husband Kip at ringside, and Hannah has her husband Danny at ringside for her. So interesting styles here. We saw Penelope Ford against Shayna Baszler. Penelope almost had Shayna, but unfortunately. Penelope got locked in with the clutch one too many times and just had to tap out. We'll see if Penelope can gain back a win over Hannah Nightmare, but that is a tough challenge for you. And Hannah Nightmare has... I uh, can't remember the last time we've seen Hannah in action, so... Here we go. Yes. Uh, we'll have to continue with another part. I got some business to attend to. Sorry. 